Welcome to my fancy basement. Today, I'm working on decluttering that hot mess. I have so many toys that have been collected over the last only four years. My oldest isn't even four yet. There's just so much back there. Last year, I did not go through anything at all. So this year, I've been like very picky. I just feel like this conviction to just get rid of things and just get rid of it. So I'm going to be very picky going through these toys and I wanted to share a little bit of that process with y'all. I have already started to declutter a lot of things. This is currently my donation pile. A lot more that's going to be added because we've got this guy came out of my kids room it still has a ton of toys in it this came out of the kids rooms still has a ton of toys in it all of my books are just sitting here in random boxes because i finally got this thing moved over here to put the books on i'm literally sitting on a cheese puff container my elimination process is really going to be baby type things are just going because my youngest is now 15 months so I'm gonna keep some younger kind of toys but I'm really going to stick with mostly open-ended toys anything that talks to me or really only has one way to be played with it's just really gonna go unless my kids are obsessed with it I have been watching my kids a lot the last like four to five months with toy rotations and I've been paying attention to what like they really like to play with the stuff that they kind of just played with for a second and put it away like I haven't specifically sat down and journaled it and I know some people do that but I kind of got it up here in my mental space that's the process I'm going to go through with this I am doing this full declutter process through my entire house if that's something that you are trying to do yourself or you just enjoy watching make sure you subscribe because you won't want to miss out i've been trying to do small little tasks every day building up to this so i feel like i've tackled enough small things to be able to hopefully be really good my cheese ball container is crushing underneath me but i feel like i've gotten to a point where i've done really well with all the small things that i can handle the toys we will see how i do i've been working at this now for a good solid half hour <sighs> There's so many toys, but I'm making progress so far. So far, let's see what we have. So far, we have a sensory crafting sort of thing that I truthfully haven't touched probably since we moved into this house because as much as I would love to be a crafting mom, I'm just not. Anyways, moving on. Here is a wooden shelf, some toys, cars, buses and such, and then a couple little puzzle thingies here and then a shelf of puzzles and magnets and then down below a few more wooden toys some simple pulling toys their barn and train they're obsessed with I'm a little crooked here and then i did keep this talking dog because my daughter loves it and she would be very sad if i got rid of it over here i have two bins of music things we have lots of music things in this house kids love to play music and then i have a whole bin here of just wooden I now will just take all of these out the same time and let them do their thing. So, yeah, and there's some more crafting in here. We've still got a lot going on here. <laughs> I have also organized this guy up a little bit with some things. Um, I kind of wanted this stuff to just be easy to dump into the baskets. They used to be in lid containers like that. And I just wanted to easily be able to just dump it into the basket when I do rotation. So... Now we've got this all organized with a few toys, but there's still so much happening here. So I've called in some reinforcements with the hubby and said, I need your help because I still have two bins of toys to go through. like right underneath that light and it is so bad hold on <laughs> so i've been working at this wow hello 